So to configure the head up display you need to click on the settings icon which is underneath the reloaded time up the top here. And that takes us to the settings screen. Now there's three rows of six tiles on each row and each tile can be configured to show different data and different colors based on the values that you set. Each tile is numbered from the top left starting at one going across and then down. So if I click on the top left one which is one we see number one calculations and then number two and this will be number seven etc. So let's have a look how we configure it. So this top left tile here I'm going to click on that one. The first thing I need to do is to give it something meaningful and what I'm going to put in here or a name that's meaningful what I'm going to put in here is uh, the open tickets. Okay, so that's open tickets and if I go to the head up display I'll see that the caption has changed to open tickets. And now let's have a look at the calculation. So the calculation, once we've clicked on the, clicked on the ellipsis, we can see that the first line says we're looking at tickets that are open and the second line ticket rec type means service tickets. We're looking at all boards so that's why we've got so many. In fact, we can see there's, there's quite a lot of alert tickets there and that's been selected. So what we're going to do is now if we, I'm just going to uncomment this line and we see that little error coming up, that's because we need a comma. So once we've got a comma after that, we can click OK and we see we're, we're down to 43 tickets. So 43 tickets open on the systems integration board. If I want to include another board, I simply put a comma in and now I've included the testing board. Click OK. Again if we go back to the calculation what we can also do is if we wanted to include some other criteria, uh, as an example here we will exclude the child tickets. Again we've got the error because we don't have the comma. So always try to make sure that there's an OK before you click OK. And we can include additional lines if need be. In this particular case, if we wanted to, as an example, we wanted to include, say, the ticket owner. ticket owner member name, in this case so we can see that there's 18 tickets that Luke owns. Now the next thing we may want to do is we may want to set the colors. So I'll just show how the colors are set. You need two numbers for the colors or two threshold values. So there's the low value. Anything below the low value gets the low value color. Well, then we've got a high value. Anything above the low value and below the high value gets the medium value color. And then we've got the high value. And any number above the high value gets the high value color. So in this particular case our low value happens to be this blue which if we wanted it to be green I'll just click on the green one and I'm just actually all, all you need to do is copy so right click and copy and control V to paste and we're back to green there. So that's if we're below the um, 150 it's going to be green. If I make that value 10 then we're in the middle and that's why it's gone orange. The other thing that you may want to change sometimes are date specific calculations. So let's have a look at the close today tile. In this particular case the calculation here I'm just going to exclude the server type And what we're really doing is we're looking at the ticket date closed 
is equal to the end date of this report. Basically, once QVWISE does a reload, it sets this variable, the end date, to be equal to the date that was last reloaded at. So we can see that 15 tickets were closed today. Let's go back to the head-up display.